one that's blaring, glaring in your face day to day right now is what's coming out of, you can't even call it Happy Valley anymore. Man, it is not a happy place. Uh, we're talking sickening about Penn Valley. State. It is sickening. It, it actually makes you ill to think about it. It really does. It makes you totally ill to think what's going on up at Penn State. Penn State, also known as linebacker you also known as the home that Joe built, you know, Joe Paterno. Joe Pa has now announced that he's going to resign and retire at the end of the season, which, by the way, just from my side of the fence, I think that's about 20 years too late because the man's going to be 86 when yeah, this but happens. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he kept winning. No, <laughs> no, no doubt about it. Two national championships, yeah. always, in the, always in the top 20 of the, of the polls. He's always put people in. Um, he's, got, uh, he's produced probably more NFL linebackers than any other university in, in the country. Well, 46 years as a head coach for one university, you've produced just about everything more than everybody else. That's probably true. Including a bad, bad assistant coach. Mm, Did he yeah. produce it, or was he already broken when he got there? That's I have, well, you know what, that's, that's for psych psychologists and doctors to figure out. I have so many emotions. You yeah, do. It may, I, I, broke, I was in tears the other day thinking about it from a dad's standpoint. Because all you ever wish for your kids when you send them out to a football camp, send them off to the school, send them off to, I mean, it, I, I, that's the last I want, thing you think about. Is, is Holy their cow. And it makes me want to cry because I want to punch Jerry Sandusky right in his fucking face. I do. I, do. I want to take him behind the woodshed, and I want to give him an eye for an eye and tell him exactly what it's like. And I, I, I hope they stick him in a maximum security prison, and I hope that they deliver the goods to him every damn day. Now, that's the dad and me talking. Do I have compassion for a man that's obviously got a sick disease? Yeah, I have compassion for anybody that's sick. But when it comes to kids, and here's where I'm pissed about Joe Paterno. And, and, you know, let's make no mistake about it. The guy has touched, you go back to his former players, and he has touched more lives than he's hurt in his life. He has. That being said, when it comes to kids, and they talk about that chain of command, all, thing, all bets are off when the chain of command hits. You, whether it's your kids or somebody else's kids, you have a, a, a responsibility to stop it right then and there. Yeah. No matter how much trouble you get in because you disrupted the chain of command, that dumbass president or athletic director said, should have come to me first. You stop it. We talk about loyalty in sports, and we all want to protect our buddies in the locker room. When your buddy crosses that line and assistant coach, and which with kids, you got to stop it. I mean, they're friends, right? I mean, long, known, 30, 40 if years. If somebody came to me with just a guy I've known for a year, let alone for many years, first thing I do is go talk to the man. Hey, this, I've been told this. Is this true? What? what, the, what yeah. Are you serious? You know, and then it, it, you know, I'd find out myself before no I'd you know, go anywhere else. I mean, there's no question. And I'm hoping Joe ask. did that. And if he did well, and decided to protect his buddy, oh then, it make, then it's even more yeah, heinous. Then that's, that's it's even more heinous. I understand loyalty to friends and family. Yeah, but when it comes to kids, all bets are off. Sure. Kids don't have a voice. They don't. We have to be the Especially voice. Especially when they're 9 and 10 years old. Right. And I'll tell you who's a bigger coward and bitch than his mother is, is, is just as big as Sam. Dusky and Paterno is the assistant coach Mike McQuarrie walks into a shower and sees an assistant coach playing with a nine-year-old kid call it playful just a little bit of inappropriate playful Please. are you out of your damn mind if it would have been my dad or anybody else I'd have walked over to Jerry Sandusky and slammed his head against the shower against the shower the the, the tiles 50 times said are you nuts this is a kid it's a damn kid and then while I slammed it against there, I'd have stuck his head in the toilet for another half hour and grabbed him by the nap of the neck and walked his ass into the athletic department. Who does that? What kind of coward? Because you're afraid that if you tell on Jerry Sandusky, your little assistant uh, uh, the G GA coaching job will be in jeopardy while some kid's getting raped? Are you out of your mind? So as a dad, it pisses me off beyond belief. As a football player, I understand loyalty. But loyalties go out the window to any friend yeah. or family member that is abusing a child, period. How does the wife not know? How, does, how, how do these people not know this? It's despicable. It's and Joe Paterno, as good as he's been, and I know people want to say go out, and he's got great support from the fans. And I, you know what? God love Joe Paterno. I mean, you know what? He's, if you talk about five coaches in the history of this game, he's as revered. I remember I've interviewed him a couple times in, sitting in an office when I'm covering college football for ESPN. When you walk in and talk to Joe Paterno, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Mm -hmm. And you should, he, the way coaches treat Joe Paterno is almost like he's the Pope to the Catholic Church. No pun intended in that with the assistant Jerry Sander. I talk about that feeling, the regard they hold him in. It's like a person going to the Vatican and saying, oh my gosh, if you're a Catholic, this is where it's at. Getting to see the Pope. When you go on a college football campus and Joe Paterno walks by, 
boom, everybody stops. I know. And so it kills me that this has happened the way he's going out. But he has to go out now. I think it is so unnerving that they're going to let him walk on a field and coach this week. And more importantly, I think it's unnerving that Joe Paterno himself isn't saying, can't do it, too big a distraction, I got to stop. I hate it. I love him for what he's done for these kids. He's graduated, kids been great. But you know what? Sadly enough, after 61 years in coaching, one fell swoop is going to ruin everything. And you know what? That one fell swoop, an apology to these children and their families is not enough. It's not it enough. sounds like it's more than one fell swoop. It sounds like a mini. And that, if there's that, nine, that, there's probably 19. Yeah, that's no We doubt. know there's 40 counts oh, going up against years. Sandusky. Yeah. And we don't know how many are involved. Sorry, but it's just, it just no, no, no. change. But, but, it's, but, it's, but his, his legacy, Joe Paterno's legacy at Penn State, is going to probably be the same as Woody, uh, Woody Hayes at Ohio State. One mistake, the one punch against the Clemson player in, in the game. Yeah, of- but one punch on a player that we all have that emotion to want to knock somebody in the teeth, and some kid, nine-year-old no, 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 kid no, who can't I'm protect saying, himself naked, no, I not even in the same class. I understand that, but I'm just saying there's a, that, that, that moment. His legacy's tarnished forever. Yes. Nobody gives a damn or a shit about 409 wins anymore. Penn State supporters, his wife, yes, great job of coaching. But you know what? How long has this gone on? Well, we know since, what, what? 2006? Do, do, well, if anybody thinks it just started in 2006, they're out of their damn mind, too. So it's, you're thinking they, it's, you, it started You think going, the guy oh, woke yeah. up one day and thinks, oh, I think I like I'm attracted to nine-year-old little boys? At, in two, he just woke up one day and decided that? Come on, no, I'm not. Well, I'm just saying it's been going on in 2006 at at Penn State. Yeah, now my question I have, because I'm not in the legal world, is there a statute statute of limitations on some of these? None. Not when it comes to child molestation. Good. Nope. And I hate to say it, but he's going to, Jerry Sand, matter of fact, put him on alert because I'll guarantee you one thing there's a bridge that he's probably going to want after what he's about to go through. You ain't going to, you wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy, but these kids don't have a voice. And there's no apology enough for him. And I, like I said, whether you love Joe Paterno or not, morally he did not do the right thing. And the chain, it's like if, you, if you're a soldier. Right. And you can compare these two. And I haven't been to war or anything. My dad was in the Army and the Airborne. But judging from stories I've heard, because I, I don't call football war. I just don't. But if, you're, if your lieutenant says don't do that, you've got a guy laying down, just got shot, and he says get to the helicopter. You know, you're on a special ops unit. And he says get to the helicopter, leave him there. He's not going to make it. And you leave. Chain of command said for you, you to leave. Yeah, okay. You did the right thing, chain of command. How many Morally, guys would leave their buddy sitting there? Not a one did. of us. Never did. We'd go home and you could slap our hand, kick me out, give me, you know, kick me out of the, the armed forces. But if I got my buddy sitting there and he's got a uniform on, my ass is saving him, even if I got to go with him. No one's so left that's behind. when you, and when it comes to kids, there is no chain of command. You are the chain of command well, when it, it comes stops to kids. With you. You're damn right it does. It stops.